Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Gwen. And this is Rob. And, and this, this is Gwen, Gwen and Rob Explore the Universe. If you sell online, you'll know that it's very common for scammers to often reach out to you and try to get your item for free or to try to squeeze some money out of you. And this happens to us frequently. So late one night, I saw my phone vibrate and I checked it and I noticed that I got an offer on eBay. The strange part was that the listed item was for $50, but the offer was for $60. So that's a big red flag right there. Along with the offer was a message detached and the message read like this. Hello, seller. I'm interested in your item as a gift. I'll like the item shipped to Texas via next delivery or overnight. Hope my offer has been accepted. Message my cell for payment. Thanks. So I checked the guy's profile out and I noticed that his account was created in 2020. Red flag. He had no feedback. Red flag. And on top of that, there's a few spelling errors as you can see he meant to put next day delivery or overnight but it's just kind of a huge mess so I immediately declined the offer and I thought that would be the end of it the next day I told my wife about it and my wife is a little more nefarious than I am and she decided that it would be fun to mess with the scammer which is a pastime of ours by the way there have been a few times in the past where we will get a scam phone call or an email or something and we always love it because we'll always take the time to try to waste as much of the scammers time as possible so my wife soon concocted an idea she decided we would download a texting application make a fake phone number and then text the guy on the number he gave us on eBay and then see what happens and the following is a reenactment of that conversation and just for clarity the purple text is ours and the white text is the scammers Hi there. Are you still interested in my item on eBay? Yes. Have you accepted my offer? Yes, I did. Okay, thanks. I want to make inquiry if you can ship in the state. I want ship it to my siblings as a birthday gift in which I will be adding $50 as the cost of shipment. And can you get a gift card of $300 inside the package before you ship it? I will add $300 to your payment for the GameStop gift card. GameStop? I don't really shop at GameStop. You can go to any store and get it. Which store did you have around you? I have only Walmart near me. Okay, go there. You can also purchase it from there. Send me your PayPal email address so that I can make all the payment through my PayPal app on my phone before I resume back to work. What's the total amount of the payment? Are you there? Just give me a few minutes. I'm gonna go to the store after work. That will be around what time? Probably in 30 minutes. Okay, if you don't see GameStop gift card, you can purchase eBay gift card. Just let me know when you get the cards. Did you understand me, my humble seller? Hello? Man, you must be really desperate to scam somebody to text a person that much. It's because I want to settle all this before I resume back to work. Please stop calling me scam or whatever names, I hate that. I was just trying to make things work out ASAP before getting back to work. What's your address? Name is Gary W. Henderson. P.O. Box. Bruh, 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 bruh. Houston, Texas. Bruh, 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 bruh. Unfortunately, I do not deliver to P.O. Box, only to physical address. Don't worry about that. My siblings will pick it up there because I don't want anyone to steal it from their mailbox. We should be secure, just because of the cards. Don't worry, just proceed. What is all the total amount of the payment? I'm getting back to work any time from now, so be fast. Sorry, I wish I could deliver to P.O. Box, but I don't. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Can you ship to Chicago? Will $50 still cover up for the shipping cost? But she live in Texas. Make no sense. Have another siblings that I want to give a birthday gift to. What's the address? Name? Bruh, 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 bruh. Street? Bruh, 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 bruh. State? Chicago, Illinois. Zip code? Bruh, bruh, bruh. What's the apartment number? That the address. Are you shipping it with USPS? It's an apartment complex. Can't you ship there again? Is $50 gonna cover the shipping? No, if there is no number, it will be returned to me. No, it can't. I sent him a money order last month and he got it. Man, that sucks. 
I was really looking forward to do business with you as I have to pay my rent in a few days. Well, gotta find another way, thanks anyway. So you don't want to sell your item to me again or what? Which one did you want again? Let proceed. Which item is it again? Sorry, I have a lot of messages. Can you go check our conversation and check eBay also? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, was it for the 18 inch one? Okay. Can I get recent pics of the item? What was the color preference again? Did you have yellow color? Yes, of course. And did you send an offer for the used one or the new one? Okay, good. So what's the total amount of the payment? New or used? What is the cost of the new? The new one is $79.99 and it's gonna be $85 if you want the instruction manual too. Okay, so what will the total be plus the shipping and the GameStop gift card? Well, if you want the whole package new with the instruction manual, it will be 95 plus the gift card. Let make it 90. So what will the total be? The shipping is expensive. It's very big. The total with the manual is 95. Do you want the instruction manual? I think 50 should cover that. I mean for the shipping. Kindly calculate it all and tell me. You still haven't told me if you want the one with the instruction manual. I said yes, I want it. I know you want it bad. You know what? Since you have been so nice, I can just send the instruction manual right now for free. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Here it is. Don't worry, yours is yellow. Hello? So guys, we thought that it would be fun to share those screenshots and narrate it for your entertainment. We fuck with a lot of scammers. We might do this more often. We'll see. Some conversations end very quickly. This guy was really eager and desperate. And so the more desperate they are, the longer they tend to, you know, be engaged with you. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, comment. And we'll be back next Sunday with another video. Say bye, Gwen. Bye-bye.